it's always good to be back, especially for a, a bonus Tuesday edition. Bonus baseball. Of the Eternal Baseball Podcast. <laughs> uh, we're your hosts, Mark Weber, Brett Rotundi. Thanks for joining us. Uh, and it's deja vu all over again, as the great Yogi Berra once said. Uh, last year, I forget who caught who, if it was the Cardinals catching the Cubs or the Cubs catching the Cardinals, but they were tied up in the NL North on the season's last day, and they had a one-game day, one game playoff that Chicago won to advance to the pro, uh, the playoff field proper. And we've got it kind of the same, but totally different this year, in that the Reds caught the Pirates on the season's last day, or I think it was the second to last day, and then they both won on the season's last day on Monday. So now we've got our one-game playoff for the NL North title. Uh, home field advantage goes to the team with the better head-to-head record. That's Pittsburgh who won, I think, 11 of 18 head up. Uh, and so here we go. It's one game to decide it all, uh, to pop into the playoffs and play. The winner of this game will get the defending eternal baseball champions, the National League's best, the San Francisco Giants. Um, but they are the runaway monster that they were last year. They struggled early, then came on strong. Um, but they're only a little bit better than the two seed, the Braves who won the South and are hosting the East winning Expos, who's everyone's favorite Cinderella team. Mine, definitely. And we got it like that. Uh, and then over in the American League, it's Yankees and Angels. And let me get it right. Uh, Birmingham hosting Detroit, which is the best series of the first round. Birmingham won 107, which is somehow not quite as good as last year. <laughs> um, but Detroit won I have to look it up. I think they won like 28 of 32 Woo. to close the year. They won like 103 games. So they are they are not that far back. So that should be a hell of a series out in the American League. But for today, let me show the screen here. Uh, here we go. And the audio. So here we go. As is the tradition, we'll be playing as a home team. So we'll do the Pirates today. Uh, but we want to make sure, I mean, it's a one-game playoff. We want to make sure everything's fair, even and level. So if we put in a bad lineup for Pittsburgh, it's fine because we probably put a bad one in for Cincinnati as well. Uh, it's Deacon Philippe, <laughs> great name, uh, against Tony Mullane. So two uh, old-school starters. Uh, Philippe's a right-hander, so for Cincinnati. So the real question here, and this is, we sort them by OPS versus right-handers. Uh, Brandon Phillips had a fantastic season, uh, good against lefties and righties. His OPS against righties is 829, but he's a second baseman. And if you play him, you're benching Joe Morgan. I don't think you can bench Joe Morgan. Uh, more uh, By the numbers, Morgan didn't have as good a year, but he's also far superior defensively and can steal you some bases where Phillips is just you know, a, a good glove and a straight bat, but Morgan gives you more. So I think you can make the argument maybe Phillips over Larkin by looking at the OPS. You could, yeah, although it'll draw it'll drop you defensively a little bit at short. So but yeah. either way, Joe Morgan's starting and leading off, I think. Yeah. I think maybe we yeah, go with our gut on some of these. Uh okay, so if uh well Phillips may or may not be in there. Um Wow, Eugenio Suarez had – oh, Frank, sorry. Frank Robinson is the cleanup hitter. Suarez a third. And then it comes down to, do you want Phillips a four defensively at shortstop and 829 OPS against righties? Or do you want Lar – ah, Larkin's a 669 against righties. I think you put Phillips in. Take the hit. So Phillips will go second. You know, I think we could do here. He'll play short, move Suarez to, ooh, sorry, Suarez to fifth. Frank cleans up, and then we get Pete Rose hitting third, which gives us a switch hitter and makes the top of the right up, left and right, switch right. Then you get Joey Otto at first. Ernie Lombardi has better numbers a little bit, but Johnny Bench is such a better catcher. Yeah, no that, brainer. We're not, we're not benching Johnny Bench for the one game playoff. Uh, if only for fear of red stands. <laughs> I was going to say, it's, quite, <laughs> it's one thing to bench Barry Larkin, but. Yeah, uh, Larkin's already a bit of a, a bit of a, a jagged little pill. But um, so uh, Frank Robinson can play center. He's a four. 
just a little below average. Uh, and that would let you get Adam Dunn into the lineup in left if you want. Or you can go with Ed Roush, who's a fantastic center fielder. Uh, not quite Dunn's bat. Different player, speed, but better defensively. I think you go for the stick. Don't I don't know. I'm kind of a... <laughs> We can do it either way. Yeah. I but we're already sacrificing defense at shortstop. Oh, uh, your so, call, man. Your call. I'm going to go with Ed Roush. Okay. Catch them all in center field. And if we if if we, we curse Cincinnati by choosing Ed Roush over Adam Dunn, I'll, you know, I'll wear that, <laughs> that title. No problem. Uh, that's fine. Okay. Well, so over here. Now, this is funky. They played Jason Kendall pretty much all year. And he was awful. 218 against lefties, 212 against righties. Oof, so late in yeah. the season, they uh, called up Tony Pena, and he was fantastic. Yeah. So Pena has fantastic numbers, but yeah, it's in 24 at bats. Why not so, ride the hot streak, man? Why not? I, I don't have any problem playing Tony Pena, especially because his defense is a nine. Yeah, right? do it'll it. help. But I'm just saying, don't fall in love with the numbers. Because the batting numbers might be <laughs> somehow bit Manny Sanguin was even worse. Than <laughs> right, Kendall, dang it, bad. Yeah, they were so happy when they called the hot rookie Tony Pena. Um, <laughs> so uh, Tony Mullane's a right-hander too. So yeah, look, Pena's OPS against righties is is twelve hundred. Now that's fool's gold on some level, but yeah, get him in there. We'll let him. I love but Tony maybe, Pena. Maybe not right up top. So it looks like McCutcheon is your leadoff with that good OPS. That Wag Honus Wagner's your cleanup. Jake Beckley is your first baseman. Uh, I mean, I can bat. Not, I'm not batting Pena second. I'm putting Clemente up top. Yeah, I get so, Kiner fifth, maybe. Kiner fifth, and then who? Wayne. Actually, I think McCutcheon's a center fielder. That's our problem here. Kiner will play left. So our outfield is set, so that doesn't leave any room for Paul Wayner. I forget if he's big or little poison. Either way, <laughs> great nickname. But and here's the, here's the crux of it: Jake Beckley uh, just had better numbers than Willie Stargell. Yeah. So yeah. gotta go Willie, better. Willie Stargell will be our uh, our thunder off the bench. It looks like. Put Arky at third. What's I think the... Ark. I think Arky yeah. goes third. Because, well, wait, who's the short? Oh, I got Wagner at short. Fine. Um, so Mazeroski is second. Pena and then Mazeroski hitting eighth. All right, I like eight. it. That's a good looking right. lineup. Time to play ball. Deacon. That's just a strong name, man. I Deacon. Mean, he looks Tony exactly what, like he thinks he's Cincinnati. Tony Mullane starts in Cincinnati. I know that's probably his nickname, but I'm just going to assume that was his. It's a Christian name. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it sounds very Christian. He's 0 and 3 with a 638 run average against Pittsburgh. Wow. So Mullane has struggled against Pittsburgh. He's made 20 starts on the year and is 13 and 5. And Philippe's uh, been great against Cincinnati. We'll see if that holds up. against Cincinnati. He's 4 and 1 with a 138 earned run average against Cincinnati. Pittsburgh center fielder Andrew McCutcheon is riding a 13-game hitting streak. Always like McCutcheon. It's 58 degrees, wind speed 3 miles per hour. <laughs> when it was a center made field. him shave. Pitching for Pittsburgh. He said his, his baby, Deacon, his like, two-year-old didn't recognize him. Because he's never seen dad without <laughs> facial hair. Joe, Morgan. All right, so we'll give control of the Reds back to the computer. I'm surprised someone hasn't sued the Yankees at some point for... Yeah, it seems like there would be some chunk of the law where yeah. you, you could have some solid footing to. Like I get like in the food, you know, food industry where you have to have hair nets and things like that or no long hair or dangly jewelry if you're working right. around machinery. I yeah, yes. That, but right. no beard to play second base, really. <laughs> yeah, when all the other teams can. Yeah. Don't the Reds have it, too? Or they did at one point. They I did. Guess. I don't know. I don't know if that was if that disappear was shot when shot. <laughs> right. That was the whole Rolly Fingers thing. And they said we can yeah. sign you, but you got to shave your mustache. And he went, "Your mascot has my mustache." <laughs> That's <laughs> right. And and eventually chose to retire and then shave. So. <laughs> your Which mascot. is probably the right call, rather than one more tacked on maybe bad year at the end. Yeah. Anyway, that's nice to go out on your own terms, though, I guess. But big time. 
All right, Morgan can bunt, so we're not falling for that. Oh, look at him go. Lead off triple. I guess we chose Short wisely. No. There we go. Brandon Phillips. Brandon Phillips steps in. That did not take long. 10% chance if we throw home. I'm not buying that. <laughs> okay, take the out, I guess. <clears throat> if Joe Morgan leads off with a triple, odds are. <laughs> coming home at some Rose. point. I'll take the out. I do kind of like having Mazeroski on our side because I yes. remember we've played against Frank Fielder, him. Frank Robinson. And it, it is kind of a mixed bag here. Like, well, we got Payne as a nine behind the plate. Philippe's a good fielder at eight. Mazeroski's a 10. Wagner's an eight. Vaughn's a seven. Clemente's a 10. Cheers, dude. It's just Ky 10, Kiner's, 10. A, Kiner's a bit of a black hole out there in left. We'll, uh, we'll hope he hits one out for the one he lets go. <laughs> Well, pitching for Cincinnati. Not bad. Tony. Yeah. Malone. They can hit it to Mazeroski all day. Speaking Andrew of Hall of Fame mustache. 22, Andrew. Tony Malone. Look at that. Where are we laughing about? He looks like he was tying some damsel to the train tracks there. Yeah, just before the game. He was a little late for warm up. This is the end, my dear. Whoa, who's that? <laughs> Tony, you're Mike doing Gilder. the part. Roberto. The season's Clinton. over. No, man. <laughs> they all had jobs in the offseason, right? It's <laughs> villain. <laughs> silent movie villain, probably. Yeah, just, just wiring some dynamite to the tracks here. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> Don't mind me, Sheriff. <laughs> but, um, now, I've changed and updated a lot of photos in the game, and Brandon Phillips still needs my help. But this might be my favorite. Look at that picture of Clemente. Right. That's a good one. The P Rose <laughs> one's excellent as well. Frank yeah, Robinson. I like the young Rose. Frank um, Robinson's a good one. But Clemente's just baseball royalty. And yeah. that's just yeah. Ed Roush looks like he's that's a morgue pick. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the only time they got him on a standstill. <clears throat> Joey Votto needs help too. Look at a little sling blade over there. First base. A little bit, right? Beckley. <laughs> Look at Beckley, dude. I, I don't know anything about Beckley, but I like him. Nice mustache. Just get the sense he had like a 10 inch blade on his hip while he played, right? <laughs> Rode a horse <laughs> to the ballpark. Yeah, just in case a deer came on the field, he needed to, to dress it real quick. Notice that he's playing over Stargell, so Stargell has given him no little stars for his hat. Right? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a little, little professional rivalry going. Man, this might be a 15 minute game. First right? Baseman, number 19, Joey Votto. Joey Votto. Who has a no trade clause? Johnny, Van. every every year when the deadline comes up, people start talking about oh Joey Votto, Joey Votto. It's not going anywhere. No trade clause. Love some snap. Here's Johnny Bench, who had a big three run homer on Sunday, I think, in their win Short to tie stop. up the uh, Honus North. Wagner. Honus Wagner is a fantastic bunter, but they seem to know that, given where Votto and Suarez are. So. Wagner is such a drinker's nose. I love it. <laughs> All right, Ralph Kiner steps in. Not much going on so far. Third baseman, Arky Vaughn. Arky needs some help, too. Those are some of the ones I try. Sometimes I'll just make them all black and white. I'll just grayscale them. Because the fake colored black and white photos really bug me. Gotcha. Right? Like, there's nothing wrong with it being vintage. I like that. Like, I printed out or we posted up the season ending league leaders today, right? And most of them are black and white photos, right? Because it's, you know, it's uh, Josh Gibson and Mickey Mantle. And actually, Mantle's are color, but DiMaggio and you know, Babe Ruth and Ted Williams. And I like the black and white. It kind of validates where they came from. Oh, Archie Vaughn. I'm going to Photoshop a couple coins on Tony Roush's eyes there. <laughs> Tony Pena, who's been a, a revelation, but only in like 40 at bat. So we'll see. Come on, Pena. <laughs> no. That's all right. That means Deacon can lead off next inning. Uh, Ed Rouse, who's a fantastic bunter. Rest in peace. That. Right. Sorry about it, Ed. 
Ed Rouse, more like dead Rouse. Oh, oh. Tony Mullane. I'm willing to bet Tony's going to bunt here. Rouse got up that line for 29%. Yeah, I don't know if the league just holds around as well or if that's a reflection of Pena with a nine defense and an eight arm at catcher. But either way, I don't think he's going, but he's probably getting bunted. There it is. Oh man, it froze. What happened? Second baseman. Uh just Joe. uh sacrifice bunt out of okay. first rouse to second. Gotcha. Joe Morgan steps in. And walks. Short Come on, Deacon. Brandon Phillips. Brandon Phillips beams in from the negative zone. Maybe two. Yeah, Phillips isn't getting there. Second I'll baseman. Do it. I'll do it. Mazeroski. Bill Mazeroski and this tennis ball that he's smuggling in is <laughs> it's so much chalk. <laughs> but always good to have a racquetball. That's like the entirety of the pouch. Just right. I don't think he even took it out of the pouch. I think he just took it out of the <laughs> he pouch. Just it. <laughs> he just got the biodegradable pouch. That's it. Day's there. Oh, it's an error. So Votto dropped Major. it. The Deacon. throw pulled Votto off the bag. Oh man, should have put Blarkin in, I guess. So here's our bunt, I think, even though they're waiting for it. Let's do it. Oh, nice bunt. Jeez, dude. <laughs> so do you bunt with two strikes just to avoid a potential double play, or do you let him hit? Let's do it. Uh, uh, I guess this means – if this didn't mean anything, I would actually hit and run here. But <laughs> With the pitcher? Yeah, like a slap <laughs> with the infield in. Uh, yeah, let's bunt him one more time. All right. Come on, Deacon. He got it down, I think. Oh, oh Johnny. The Come on, Johnny. Guns, guns out mass Sandra at Fielder. second base. Andrew. I forgot Andrew. to mention, I've always been <laughs> singing Tony Payne's phrases. Bench is a 10 with a 9 arm. So, Jeez. yeah. That's why. I, who's their other guy? Hang on. Their other catcher doesn't play a whole Ernie. lot. Ernie Lombardi. Ernie Lombardi. Who was widely known as maybe the slowest base The slowest in man. <laughs> The shortest hit. legs in baseball history, they said. He could absolutely hit. Uh, all right, McCutcheon jumps in. Suarez blows the bubble. Oh, don't be too. No way. Touch. Left fielder, Pete Yikes. Rose. Pete Rose steps in. Reds lead 1 0. I think I want past Maz. Fielder, Single up the Frank middle. Robinson. Frank Robinson, no worries, right? Oh, boy. Got him. Third baseman. Not Eugenio quite. Torres. Took second on Clemente. Now, while we're talking defense. Jeez. 10 defense, 10 arm for Clemente. So, pretty uh, pretty bold of Frank to turn to or turn for second. Guess second, third, get, nobody out. Get someone Suarez. up here soon, huh? First baseman. Pops to Joey Votto. Sling Blade steps in. Will Rose run on McCutcheon, probably. Yes. Give us a... 11% chance to get him out at home. You got to take that, yeah? For sure. Come on, Cutch. Or cut it, cut it to third. 36% chance to get Robinson going to third. Yeah, you got it. If okay. We get him, if we get a third, Rose might not even score. Sounds good. All right, so we'll cut to third. He's end of the year games, man. I feel like it just... They suck my soul out a little bit because I can't take any chances. Right? So the throw didn't get Robinson. Rose scored. Two nothing Reds. Johnny Bench steps in. And strike there we go, Deacon. Roberto Clemente. All right, Roberto. All right, here we go. <laughs> Boom. All right. Was oh! Two? He's First in there. Basement. Very nice. Jake Beckley. Jake Come Beckley. on, Beckley. Down the line. That's got to be a run. 59% chance if we send Clemente. There's nobody out. I would say play that conservative. Somebody yeah. else. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Uh, did he go to two? The Beck looked like he rounded, though. Did... I'm not sure if he did or not. Let's see. We're not sending Clemente, though. Nah, Beck was back. Shortstop. Okay. Honus Wagner. Honus Wagner. I think I have one of his cards. There we go. Single right. Do you have one of his cards? No. Okay. <laughs> I was like, 
<laughs> like I maybe got. maybe not <laughs> maybe not announce that over <laughs> right i did but i put it i put it <laughs> bike spokes you know there you go uh beckley can try to take third he's got a 78 percent chance to take third in my experience I get nipped a lot on really high percentages taking third base. So I don't think it's worth it here, but he's already in scoring position. Yeah. Right. And we have don't we have our cleanup hitter up? Uh our five hole, I think. Now, Kiner. Kiner. Two one Cincinnati, runners first and second, nobody out. Kiner walks. All right, man. Basement. What's happening? Come on, RK. He's a decent butter if you want to go nuts. I do not want to go nuts. <laughs> Fair enough. Since when are you the voice of calm? I know. Oh, that's got to be a run. It's got to be a sack. Fly. Just run, on, Beckley. Beckley. Just run. 89%. Yeah. Go get him, Beckley. Yeah, I didn't even throw the even go home. Look at Whoa. Wagner. Catcher. Wagner. Tony. Lovely. Tony. Tony. Come on, Tony. Tony. Yeah, because, oh, we got Maz and then Deacon, so... A dribbler to third. Send Wagner home. Say chance 90%. Yes. And they've only got a 40% chance to turn this double play. So, yes. Run, Tony. It's there. Get that out. Second baseman, Bill. And the Bill Pirates take Oscar. a 3-2 lead. Look at us. Now right? the two-run Mazeroski homer. Yeah, this, this is an easy game. <laughs> or a five hopper to Brandon Phillips. But Center way. fielder, Ed. Rush. We're in the lead. We're Rest in peace, gonna, Ed Rush. We're not going to let Dead Rush. <laughs> dead, dead Rush. Kids to Maz all day. Jeez. He's going to have 12 putouts. Do you think Maz ever this... pulled off the hidden Molly. ball trick by putting the ball in his mouth? I think he could. <laughs> it would be feasible. Physically feasible. Tony Mullane steps in, twirling Jeez. his hands, I'm sure. <laughs> Second baseman, Joe. Morgan. Morgan's a good bunner, but probably not with two outs. Oh, it froze. What happened? Did Clemente get it? Yeah. Oh, Why did okay. Clemente hot on the line? All right. Deacon steps in and hits a five hopper to Tony. One down. Center fielder, Andrew. He cuts an 0 for 2, his 13 game hit streak on the line. Well, he looks like he's just up to no good. Just yeah. the. <laughs> He's hiding something, right? I don't know what it is. <laughs> right fielder, Roberto Clemente. Clemente. Gotta work on that. But for now, run. Fine. Shortstop, Brandon Phillips. All right, halfway home. Yeah. Left fielder. Pete but this Rose. is the meat of it for Cincinnati, so we're just gonna <laughs> Pete Rose. What's he ever done? Oh, there it is. Turn it to you. Boom. There just it is. Like that. Yes. So who's our cl who's our cl uh, closer? Oh, is it uh, uh, what's his name? <laughs> I think it's Vasquez. Maybe. Yeah. It's maybe he who shall not be named. Right. Basically. Uh, but Melanson and Tacolby too. So. Tank Kent Tacolby. Hey. <laughs> All right. Maybe we'll make a moral statement here and toss <laughs> <laughs> to lose the game. <laughs> a playoff spot, yeah. Uh, Frank Robinson. Uh, third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. I mean, that is, you know, we, we kind of we talked about that before we even launched it. Like, what do you do with Felipe Vasquez and John Wetland? And, you know, you know, Jack Curtis wasn't wasn't good enough to make a turtle baseball, so we have to worry about him, but. In the end, we kind of looked at it like the the PED guys, and you know, Ty Cobb was no saint either, and just went, you know what? It's a slippery slope. We're just going to let the numbers be the numbers, and then yeah. we'll avoid talking about them as much as possible. And I think that's the way to go. Yeah, it makes I, I, life much much easier. Just hard to hard to define, you know, what you stop at and what you don't. So that's where we, that's where we went. Uh, Frank Robinson's the first two down for Suarez. I mean, if you if you've perused Archie Vaughn's social media accounts, woo, well, pretty <laughs> obvious that Tony Mullane was up to no good. <laughs> Tony Mullane, man, oh my god, Edge Lord. <laughs> they think Beckman's gonna bunt, but that's we're not doing that. Ah, oh, he did it anyway, swinging bunt. 
Man, they got into his head. Right? <laughs> Shortstop, Honus, Wagner. Wagner's a great punter, too, but... They're in on him. Wagner? Those yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's, they showed him as a 10 bunter, but... Oh, somebody's hurt. Oh, <laughs> looks like we're seeing... Is it Lombardi? Wagner, tweak the calf muscle. He'll have to leave the game. Oh, I thought it was Johnny Bench. You got... All right. Right? Yeah, that's not good. That's our cleanup hitter. Kind of First a baseman, little flare. Joey. Marco. All right, let's see the depth here. I don't even know. Oh, Archie Vaughn's a shortstop. So he'll slide, and a good one. He'll slide to short. Now we need to find Pie trainer. Way. Come on down. Pie trainer. Pie trainer. Hall of Famer, I believe. Uh, moving on in at third base. Great. Wow, a nine defensively. All right, look I at I like us. it. Sorry to lose Honus Wagner, but we make do. Well, and we'll find out after the game how significant that injury was because that could haunt Pittsburgh Catcher, here, theoretically Johnny in the playoffs Bench. if they win. Johnny Bench. Popping it up. Dude, Mazeroski is just... I feel like he's involved in two-thirds of every defensive play. Right? Center fielder. Leg it. Roush. And Roush steps back in. They had to, <laughs> they had to perform a seance to summon him. <laughs> Mazeroski again. He's like a Sith leader or something. <laughs> oh, we're going to the bottom of the seven. Archie Vaughn leads up. Catcher, Tony Pena. Tony Come on, Pena. Tony. Boom. I haven't really seen it from Tony today, but that's all right. Still leading. Second baseman, Bill. Mazeroski. Come on, Bill. Get on so Philippe can be the last out. There we go. Look at that. That Jedi mind trick working Pitcher, again. Deacon, Philip. Oh, Philip, whatever. Have a hit, Deacon. No, Pitcher. that's fine. <laughs> Moline. Clean uh, Deacon's in great shape. 78 pitches yeah. out of a max 125. So as bad as our bullpen luck has been. Let's do uh, it. I'm pretty happy though with where he's at. Now, Tony Mullane's leading off in the eighth inning of a 3-2 game. They have to, you have to pinch hit. I mean, you have to, right? Yeah. And, and the computer probably would, but we've done this occasionally, especially in a playoff game. I don't want it to be the computer decided to lead off bat Tony Mullane. So let's hop on in here for Cincinnati. And against a right-hander. Adam Dunn. It could be. Uh, oh, Kozlowski? Kozlowski? Uh, it would actually yeah. be Ernie Lombardi. Uh, Ernie Lombardi. Lombardi is your backup catcher. I think you gotta. It's a playoff game, right? Yeah. So bench doesn't get hurt because it is. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit of it. Let's see. Dunn's worth it. Yeah, Lombardi's got more power, and you need to run. So I think that's it. And then pinch hitting for Cincinnati. Ernie. Assume they'll figure that out. Or do we have to I get someone up? I'm looking at it. The funny thing is, sometimes I'll get, I'll put up a lefty and a righty, just so the computer is well armed, no pun intended. <laughs> no choose um, neither. <laughs> and they just leave them up, just burning out in their pen, and they put in somebody uh, okay. else. So, gotcha. Um, I think you got to roll this and... Uh, Will White. Will White, yeah. Who's like an 1880s pitcher. He's great, right? He's like, someday there will be carts that drive themselves. <laughs> So I'll give I'll give it to him, but if they leave him out there to fry, I may have to sit him down at one point. Sure. Uh, he's technically a starter. Will White is one of those guys that no matter what I did, he started every game of the year. Gotcha. <laughs> so finally, we just saddled him with your reliever. You get a one inning maximum, just for. The, he started like in one of our demo seasons. He had like fifty eight starts. <laughs> And like I appreciate that that's what baseball was, but and he was still he was still in the coach's ear. It's like, right. come on, come on, Skip. You pitched four days in a row. <laughs> yeah, but I got a good night's sleep. Skip, it's either, it's either this is the factory, Skip. Come on, right? And the very first base hit, he groans like, "Uh, I would have had that guy." <laughs> All right, so Cincinnati gets control back with Ernie Lombardi stepping in the pinch hit and Chapman and White warming in the pen. And it didn't matter. Lombardi didn't. 
I, I was going to say Lombardi didn't leg it out. Lombardi never <laughs> legged anything out. Uh, Joe Morgan up next. Here's the Maz. Jeez, dude. Starting to wizard. Starting to be a bigger fan Short of Mazeroski now that Brandon he's on our team. Phillips. Man, just a wizard. Brandon Phillips. We, we need to do trades one season just so we can have the Ozzy Smith Mazeroski right combo up the middle. Carroll. Center fielder, Andrew. See, they went with Clay Carroll. All right. So what I'm going to do here, just because I I don't know why it works like this, but I'm going to grab control of Cincinnati again. Because I don't want to burn these guys out in the pen. Because who knows? They might need them. This is a tight enough game. It might go extra. So, And now Cincinnati can have control right back. McCutcheon. Walks. Nice. Right fielder, Roberto. But he can't steal on bench. He can't steal on bench. So it'll be up to Clemente. Oh, who hits a tailor made six four. Oh, just six four. First baseman, Jake Beckley. I don't know if that's a rough slide or, or what, but we only got one. Jake Beckley steps in. He's not an old tapper. Can I say Phelps has done pretty good at short? Mm -hmm. Trainer. Beckley legs that one out, which is amazing, giving those thick flannel pants that they wore. But <laughs> uh, Pie Trainer gets his first to that. <laughs> Cause like a forest fire as he's running. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he burst into flames. <laughs> Line out to Rose. Rose. So here we go. Ninth inning. All right. We got to get. Why don't we get him up? Just get somebody ready. Get Voldemort going out there. Get, yeah, to Colvay. Just in case. Pete Rose steps in. Well, at least it's three, four, five for Cincinnati. So can't really complain at the, at the hand they got dealt here. Deacon Philippe trying to close it out. Pittsburgh Pirates. Oh, boy. Yes, I don't know, dude. What do we do? Oh, oh no, no way! Right Did he do it? He's ah! it by the car. <laughs> what? It was a triple, <laughs> and he took home. <laughs> on Clemente? On Clemente's arm. I mean, the ball was pretty much on the bridge, but still. Yes. We're tied up. That was Frank outrageous. Coming to the plate. Ugh. Good thing I set Third those Cincy relievers. Eugenio Suarez. <laughs> Suarez. Single left. First baseman, Joey Votto. Votto hits lefties better than righties, so I don't see any reason to make the swap right now. Unless you want to Colvay here. Yeah, let's do to Colvay. All right. Come on in, Kent. If only to see the hat. Right <laughs> at that. Can't take all the. Oh. <laughs> I can't tell if that's the shadow on top or if there was a gray <laughs> lining, but either way. Don't let us down, Kent. Oh, look at this beautiful. To Maserati, the second. Back to first. Yes, love it. Yeah. Well played. Left fielder, Ralph Kiner. Bottom of the ninth, hero time. Ralph Kiner steps in against Clay Carroll. Mm. Great play by stop. sub Brandon Marky Phillips. Vaughn. I thought that was maybe foul. Vaughn fouls or dribbles out to first. Catcher, Tony. Tony Payne. And we go to extras. Of course we do. Catcher, Johnny <laughs> Bench. Johnny Bench steps in. Uh, Colby's got 35 pitches. He'll probably get through this inning. Vasquez is going to start wearing down in the pen, so I'm going to sit him. Okay. Um, maybe okay. just just for insurance, I'll get Melanson warming up. Good idea. 
Yeah, maybe a lefty too. I'm looking at if it turns over, Roush, Morgan, Phillips. So uh looks like it's starter. No, it's Bob Veal. Try the veal. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Johnny. Single left. Center fielder and Roush. Roush kills everybody. Um, so it doesn't really matter. And he's also a good bunter, so I think we're gonna fall for that. Oh is that a gapper? It froze. Yeah, it's double off the wall, but bench Clay. holds it third. Oh man. I think you gotta get Melanson in, huh? Uh well Carroll is set to bat, and there's no way he would. Right. So this is where we'll they would announce the hitter first, right? Before the pitcher. I think that's right. So Cincinnati knows we have a lefty and a righty ready. But their best option here, either way. It's Kazuski or Davis? Uh well it's Eric Davis, except Davis has a massive platoon split. Davis is 240 against lefties, 157 against righties. So they wouldn't send him up to face to Colby because we just leave him in. So you do Adam Dunn? So I think, <clears throat> yeah, I think it'd be Adam Dunn. And then we do Although our lefties. Dunn actually has a rotten split too, rotten against lefties. So. But we've got a righty in. So. Yeah. So Kozuski? Th- I'm just saying Kozuski is their most balanced guy. Okay. So I think it's Ted. All and right. Pitch if, hitting for Cincinnati. I feel Ted bad when I don't get team. someone ready in their pen, right? If they take the lead, they're going to want Chapman. For sure. So I'm going to give them Chapman. And whether they put him in or not is on them. And then we got to. Maybe, maybe we'll put him in if they don't. But yeah. All right. Since he gets computer back. So who do we put in? So we got Jacoby, who or uh, Kluszewski is. Let's put Melanson in. All right. From U of A. Pitching but for Pittsburgh. Whatever. Mark Melanson. All right. Let's... Second, third, nobody out. To Kluszewski. Grounds the Mazeroski. Eleven percent chance if we throw home. I think you gotta, huh? You gotta try, right? This is Maz. Second base. <sighs> Morgan, dang it. Joe Morgan steps in. He's about the same lefty and righty. And he walks. Short stop. Brandon Phillips. Phillips struggles against righties. So Melanson gets one, at least one more batter here. But no, we don't even have an out, dude. This is- Nobody out. This has got sack fly written all over it. Throw home four percent, sure. <laughs> Safe. Left field. Oh jeez. Rose. Pete Rose. He was the same either way. But Melanson's been trash. So Bob Veal time. You know, actually, maybe not. Because we had a whole bunch of righties coming up. And it feels like they're all going to come to the plate. Can we Pete Rose hit an inside the Parker? Past Clemente. Throw to third, 0% <laughs> chance. Well, maybe not. Maybe. <laughs> Thanks for letting us know. <laughs> yeah, nobody can Robinson. stop the burner, Ted Flazuski. <laughs> uh, yeah, and he hits... Frank hits lefties better, so Melanson continues. Archie Vaughn. I was saying, did we get two? For Cincinnati. All right, good. I'm happy Carol they put Chapman, Chapman in, right? Because yeah. we Second would have had to if they Field. didn't. Mazzarella. There we go. So let's see what we've got lefty-wise. Willie. Willie Stargell's our best, and he's better than McCutcheon. Uh, yeah, so... So we got our we pitcher on deck. We use him here. Oh, wait. Is it Mazeroski up? Maz, yeah, Maz and Mel- Melanson. 
All right, so it would be Sargil and then Paul Wehner if we have to use him. Because, yeah, Mazeroski is nothing special against lefties. So Willie, unless we want, would we do Wehner first and then hopefully Stargell with him on base? Uh, Sure. I mean, we're going to pinch hit for the next two guys, right? So is Mazeroski that bad? Okay. I mean, he's 273 against lefties. He's not awful. But Wainer is Wainer's almost 100 points higher in OPS, so better average, better power. Okay. But Stargell has even more power than Wainer, so you probably start with Wainer, hope he gets on, and then give Stargell a shot. Sure. Sounds good. Right. If we have to figure it out defensively, we will. We'll get there <laughs> if we get there. Pinch hitting for Pittsburgh, Paul, Wainer. All right, Wainer. Great bunter. But it's bench behind the plate, so... Yeah, I think you just let him rip. All right, we'll let him swing. Right back. Pitcher, Mark Melanchin. Well, it ain't going to be Mark Melanchin, that's for sure. Pops comes in. And just to be for optimistic... Willie Stargell. We'll get the bullpen going. Run, Willie. Oh, he legged it out. Center wow, field. nice. Center yeah, froze for a sec. All right, McCutch. So, Stargell's slow. Oh. But our other options are Dave Parker, Manny Sanguian, or Jason Kendall. Probably Kendall, huh? Yeah, Kendall actually stole a base or two. Yeah, he was, he was pretty quick. This might be the only time Kendall has helped the Pirates all season, but... Kendall is the new runner at first. That's pretty good against bench, man. Not Never bad. Said. All right, McCutcheon. Unless you're thinking something goofy here. I think you got to play it straight. All right. I was going to say, hopefully it doesn't get picked. Up. Ooh, 69. 69%. I guess we're down two, though, so. Yeah, I got to let him hit. Strike three. No, uh, strikes out. So here we go. Clemente. That's a good matchup. Roberto Clemente. Jason Kendall on first. Pirates down two. Bottom of the 10th. Chapman Clemente. This is what eternal baseball is all about. Not bad, right? All right, let's see. Looks like a wild pass pitch. ball. Oh. Off speed pitch in the dirt gets past bench. Kendall holds at first. Uh, one and two count. <laughs> Be bench on bench the move. <laughs> all right, here we go. A dribbler down third. Run, Roberto. Run. Okay, he's there. He legs it out. First All right, man. Here we go. Beckley. Jake Beckley. We pretty much used our bench, bro. Yeah, I don't. Let's see. We've got uh, Parker is all we have. And Beckley's better than Parker. Much. Much. All right. No brainer. All right. Parker would only bat over Archie Vaughn or Jason Kendall if it goes up. Far. Big knife, Jake Beckley. Let's do this. Run, Beckley. Run. He's there. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh what? <laughs> no. Man, oh, man. Cincinnati the comes off the deck. And... In 10 innings, Cincinnati 5, Pittsburgh 3. Clay Carroll is the winner. Yikes, dude. Five and three uh, this one hurts Jagger. a little bit. He is now 4 and 6 on the season. Harold is Chapman gets the save. Number 23, Pete Rose hit home run number 11 on the season. Time of the game. Two hours. Ridiculous. Wagner was only hurt for today. Your MVP, Pete Rose, no doubt, is that clutch. Inside the park home run to tie things up in the ninth. Amazing. The Cincinnati Reds come off the deck to take down the Pirates, win the National League North, and advance to the Eternal Baseball playoffs. They get the San Francisco Giants. Uh, the playoff schedule will be out a little later tonight uh, at on our Facebook page, on our home page at eternalbaseball.com, on our Twitter feed as well. Um, so we'll lay out there. Uh, the playoffs are a little bit staggered, but it ensures that we have games every day. Uh, it's a division series, so they're best of five to start with. Then our league championship series, and finally the eternal series. So we appreciate you tuning in. Apologize to you Pirate fans if we did you wrong, but I believe <laughs> that was more Pete Rose than it was Mark or Brent. Um, but that, that'll wrap up the regular season plus one, and uh, we'll be back for the playoffs starting tomorrow. You know, it's the most wonderful time of the year. 
And uh, we'll see if the Giants can defend their title. It's going to be good. There we go. So th thanks for joining us. For Brandon, Mark. Thanks so much. And we will see you again on another edition of the Eternal Baseball Podcast. <laughs>